This video is brought to you guys by BetUS. BetUS can take care of all your betting needs. NFL, baseball, baseball just passed, hockey, soccer, whatever you're looking for, you can literally bet on anything. NBA is back. Uh, the, the NBA has actually been very interesting for me. Some of those point parlays and some of those uh, point plays and, you know, is Steph Curry going to get his threes, all those props. Listen, BetUS has it. Thank you so much, BetUS, for sponsoring this channel. Thank you so much, BetUS, for sponsoring this video. Now, we got to talk about a Bentley. We got to talk about a luxury car. We have to talk about Ashton Genty. Now, as we get into these prospect videos, and they're going to be coming at you guys fast. I'm going to be consistent. I'm giving you guys two to three a week. As we get closer to the Senior Bowl and after the Super Bowl is over, I'm trying to get to like four or five a week. I want to try to get to about 75 by the time. And that's a crazy number, but I'm going to push myself. I want to try to get to about 75 by the time the draft is here. I want to get to 30 by the time the season is over. So I'm working my hardest, and I'm going to be going in the order of my top 50. Not in the order of my top 50, but I'm going to be hitting the top prospects. And what better name to talk about than Ashton Genty? Now, this guy is, he's exactly what I said. He's a Corvette. He is a Bentley. And let's talk about a little bit of his background. So coming out of high school, he was not a heavily recruited player. He really wasn't. And I think what happened was his size really deterred a lot of big names. D1 schools and he talks about that as a you know that is part of his drive if you will he talks about his size being who it, it fuels him but it also is a great trait or a great benefit to his running style because he does get lost he really is the best back when it comes to vision and making guys miss in this class I got a stat for you guys he has 105 forced missed tackles in 10 games which means he's forcing 10 missed tackles a game like that that's completely insane and the biggest knock on him is going to be well he plays in the Mountain West or you know he's playing against Montana he's playing against Wyoming and yes he is that's fair but he also put up 192 yards against Oregon on 25 carries that's an insane number like when you talk about these numbers we've literally seen nobody do this other than Barry Sanders good great good great and I want to take my time with this because I think there's so many people out there who they're literally trying to find reasons not to like the guy instead of trusting what your eyes see yeah two yard gain three yard gain those happen 15 yards 60 yards 35 vision jump cut get lost like there, there's so many good things that he does i just think that it's it's lazy of people to just say oh you know you don't take it back this high i'm gonna be honest when i'm talking about from my team and i don't know if you guys are fans of other teams when i'm talking about for the cowboys rico dowdle is not a one he's a good player i think that he's a serviceable back but he's not a one the roster when you look at zeke not good enough I, i'm that's gonna be when we're talking about the running back room and trying to remake it zeke rico deuce dalvin cook none of them are good enough to me and i think that if you paired maybe an ashton Gentry with a rico you could you could do that but you can also attack this thing in free agency when i'm talking about a guy who's a stud and you look at Gentry, who's an absolute stud and you have the chance to get once in a lifetime because again we've only seen this done barry sanders that's the only time you've seen some of these numbers done Barry Sanders. And, and, and let's talk about the numbers, though. He's already at 2,000 yards through 11 games. That hasn't been done since 2019. And he also has two more games to go. 2,000 yards in a college season is not easy to do. He's seeing eight-man boxes pretty much every play. And when you talk about some of his strengths, I mean, I'll read it off. Elite contact balance, elite vision, great hands. Um, he has the unique ability to make the first defender miss pretty much every time. And that goes back to the 105 force miss tackles. I mean, he is going to make you miss. His start-stop quickness is insane. His burst through the hole is insane. I'm watching the Wyoming game, and I'm just like, man, they're bottling up, they're bottling up, boom, 60 yards. And it's just like he, he just has that feel. And it's one thing when everybody in the building knows you're getting the ball and you still – you still show and prove. You still take the load like you still. And another thing is this. In the NFL, I would use him exactly how the Lions use Gibbs year one, year two, and now year three. What they did with Gibbs is this. They drafted Gibbs and they said, no, we're going to use you as 
a chess piece. We're not going to use you as a back that gets the ball 25 times a game, i.e. what Dallas did with Zeke early on. They're not going to do that. I don't believe that you do that with Ashton Genty. I think that you pair him with the back and you use him as a guy who touches the ball and gets about 17 to 20 touches a game and he'll and he'll get you out of dodge i mean the guy is that good now if you want to talk about some of his weaknesses the size is going to be an issue he's five nine that's not going to fly with every nfl team especially in the first round people say nah i'll find somebody better i don't believe in it if you want to talk about a few other issues he needs to be a better route runner and i can see him needing to be a little bit better in pass pro but other than that man i mean there's literally nothing else to say about the guy listen to these numbers and you guys tell me if you wouldn't want this on your team he's averaged seven yards a carry he has 2,000 plus yards still has two games to go 27 touchdowns i mean you just can't make it up don't let good be the enemy of great do not let good be the enemy of great when you talk about ashton Genty. I don't think there's a team in the world that wouldn't want this type of playmaking ability on their team. It's your boy Foots as always. Thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys let me know what you think about Ashton Gentry. Is he your running back one? For me, he is my running back one. I have a top 10 grade on him. Maybe every team, every franchise doesn't see running back as that type of need. I do, and I think that he helps the Cowboys a lot. We have not seen this since Barry Sanders. Let that sink in. It's your boy Foots as always. Thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Peace.